Action. Oh my god, just fill the damn order! Excuse me. What? Do you know it would look fantastic in a white screen? Dude, shut the fuck up. 70 millimeter. Look, do you want to see a menu or what? Let's negotiate here. What's the soup du jour today? The soup of the day, you got a choice of Polish duck blood or cream of kidney. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Kick me in the kidney. You got it. Any oyster crackers in your seabed? No, hold on. What's the special today? Spread out your options. <laughs> you got your deep fried gizzards. Oh, fabulous. Calves brain with okra. You're a tempter. And pickle pig's feet. Pig's feet? I love it. Put me down for quarter pit. If you say so. Oh, um, honey <laughs> sprouts go on those feet. Iceberg. So be it. Papa Porker! Ow! Hey, hey Marcus, what's up? Oh, jeez, I... I what's, what's going on, I buddy? don't get it, Al. I don't... I don't understand. You want something? You want to drink? No! I call the waiter. No! Don't even try. I don't know what's going on today, Al. It's, it's weird. What, what, like, uh... Like, right from the time I got up. What's the story? For example, this morning I stopped up at a drugstore to buy some aspirin. This is at a big drugstore, right? Yeah. I go up to the counter. The guy says, what can I do for you? I say, give me a bottle of aspirin. The guy gives me this funny look and says, oh, we don't have that, sir. I said to him, you're a drugstore and you don't have any aspirin? Do they have bufferin? Yes. Advil? Yes. Exocin, Tylenol? Yes. But no fucking aspirin. N no aspirin. Wow, that's absurd. And that's the kind of weird thing that's been happening all day. It's like. It's like I go to a newsstand to buy the daily news, the guy never even heard of it. Could have been a misunderstanding. I asked every place, nobody had the news. I had to read the Toronto hairdresser. Or this, I go into a deli at lunchtime to buy a sandwich. The guy tells me they don't have any pastrami. How can you be a deli and not have any pastrami? Was this Korean deli? This was a kosher from Jerusalem deli. Oh, we don't carry that, sir, he says to me. Have some ah, tongue. Huh? I just got into a cab. The guy says he doesn't go to 56th Street. He happens to take me to Newark instead. Huh? Looking at me like I'm some fucking alien or some Mar shit. Marcus, settle down. Oh, I don't go there, sir. Settle down. Take a breath. Do you know what this is? Sure. What is it? What's happening to me? Don't panic. You are in Philadelphia. I'm in a what? You are in Philadelphia. That's it. But I'm in... Yeah. Physically, you are in New York, but metaphysically, you are in Philadelphia. I've never heard of this. You see, inside of what we know as a reality, there's this pocket, these black holes called Philadelphias. If you fall into one, you don't know against exactly the kind of shit that's been happening to you all day. Why? Because in Philadelphia, no matter what you ask for, you can't get it. You ask for something, they are not going to have it. You want to get something, they aren't, ain't going to get done. You want to go somewhere, you can't get there from here. Oh God, this is, this is very serious. Just remember, Marcos, this is a condition named after the city that invented cheese steak. Something that nobody in his right mind would ask for. And I thought I was just having a, a bad day. Sure, millions of people have spent their entire lifetimes inside of Philadelphia, and they never even knew it. Look at the city of Philadelphia itself, hopelessly trapped inside of Philadelphia. And do they know it? Oh, well, well, what should I do? Should I, should I just kill myself now and get it over with? <laughs> you kill yourself in Philadelphia, only you're gonna get hurt, babe. So what do I do? Best thing you can do is wait it out. Someday the great cosmic train will rescue out of the city of brotherly love and off someplace happier. You're pretty mellow today. Well. Everybody has to be someplace. Is your name Alan Chase? It is indeed. There was a phone call for you, your boss. Okay. <laughs> he's 
says you're fired. Cool, thanks. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> uh, anyways, you have this this problem. Did he say you got fired? Yeah, I I wonder I, I wonder what happens to my pigs feet. Ow! You loved your job. Hey, no sweat. How, how can you be so calm? Easy. You are in Philadelphia. I woke up in Los Angeles, and, and life is beautiful. You know Susie packed up and left me this morning. S Susie left you? Frankly, Scarlett as well. I say go. And God bless, and may your dating pool be Olympic sized. The, the, the garment district, the, the, the garment district was your life. So I'll turn it to a movie script and sell it to Paramount. Toss in some sex, add a little emotion, blah, blah, blah. Pitch it to Jack and Dusty, and you got a buddy movie with the garment background. Not relevant enough? We'll throw a hole in the ozone. Make it easy. E I'm fine, correct. Uh, have you heard of the hole in the ozone? Uh, sure. Marcus, I love this concept. I embrace the ozone. Sure. Some people are going to get hurt in the process. Meantime, everybody else will turn a little faster. So, this is a Los Angeles. Well, everybody has to be someplace. Wow. You want my advice? Enjoy your Philadelphia. Sit back and order yourself a bud and a burger. Uh, and chill for a while. But I can't order anything. Life is great for you out there on your cosmic beach, but whatever I ask for, I'll just get a cheesesteak. No, there's a very simple rule of thumb. Ask for the opposite. What? If you can't get what you ask for, Ask for the opposite. You want the daily news, ask for the times. You want pastrami, ask for tongue. Oh. Works good with women, but it's more opposite than the opposite sex. Uh-huh. So, do you want a bud? I sure could use a... No, stop, stop, stop. Do you want a bud? No, I don't want a bud. Great. There's the waiter. Order yourself a butt and a burger, but do not ask for a butt and a burger. Waiter! No, no don't call him. He won't, he won't come. You are in Philadelphia. Just figure he can't get lost. I don't need that waiter. You don't need that waiter. The waiter can get lost. Hey, waiter, get lost! Can I help you, sir? This is how you get service in Philadelphia. <clears throat> can I help you? Uh... No thanks. Okay, what do you have? How about some OJ? Sorry, squeezer's broken. Glass of milk? Cow's dried. Eggnog? Just ran out. Cup of coffee? Oh, we don't have that, sir. Got any owl? Nope. Stout? Nope. Porter? Just beer. That's too bad. How about a Heineken? Heineken, try again. Rolling Rock? Out of stock. Schlitz? Next. Bex? Next. Sapporo? Tomorrow. Lone Star? Hardy Har. Bud Light? Look, j just plain beer is all we got. No thanks. Give me a bud! Andy Tui? Nope. Name it. Pork chops. Hamburger? Medium. Well done. Baked potato? Fries. And some zucchini. Slice of raw. Burn one and make it sting! Marcus, that was excellent. Thanks. You sure you've never done this before? I've spent so much of my life... I've spent so much of my life focused on... I've spent so much of my life asking for the wrong thing without knowing it, it comes easy. I hear you. I could have saved myself a lot of time if I just screwed up on purpose all those years. Yeah, I believe you. So, I think you've been in Baltimore. They're practically the same. Okay. Here's your bud and one cheese stick. No! 
I already came with kidney on two two pairs of feet. Oh, we don't have that, sir. God. <laughs>